I'm that's sorry. I, think I have a, I have a special place. guest. You know, I, I hate to. We're talking about music, but you know, I really is uh, Neil Pert right behind me what, right now? Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have to deal with the professor. <laughs> one, of, one of my favorite musicians of the world from the Michael Jackson Thriller uh, uh, song is uh, Vincent Price. Did you? I don't know if you knew that. Like, uh, is he here tonight? Well, there? he's yeah. A lot of people be. think he's dead, but uh, Vin- Vincent Price is actually here. Hey, is it Vincent Price the actor or Vincent Price from from Thriller? <laughs> but, well, it's, yeah. it's, it's Vincent. It's Vincent Price. Uh, well, it's Vincent Price the actor. I don't know if he wants to do the the Thriller. Uh, I mean, should I bridge. Get, should I do a beat? Maybe you could rap a bit, and he could do like the uh, the Vincent Price breakdown in the middle of it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we could. It's been so very long. <laughs> <laughs> it's James Adomian, everybody. That's one of my favorite impressions that he does. Is this Vincent Price? He did it in a in a Yacht Rock episode. Yo, 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 yo! I'm rapping about rapping with my friend Vincent Price. Gonna do the rap, then he's gonna do the bridge. Nice. First, I'm gonna talk about my favorite cereal. Yo, I like to pour it into a bowl and eat it down. Drain the milk slowly. <laughs> made cereal spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what else to do there. So. <laughs> Count Chocula brand cereal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, all right, well, anyways, I don't know. No. I don't, I don't want to pimp you to do impressions and stuff. But. Oh, I love that one. I love when he, when I, when I was a kid, he used to do advertisements, like, you would... <laughs> Cousin, <laughs> Cousin Subs, for instance? I don't know that one. Uh, what is it? How's it go? Yeah, well, it was, was a local sub place had, had Vincent Price on the, on the payroll, and he would go, hello, sorry to I- interrupt your meal, but, but th- th- you could be having a spooky sandwich from... Uh, I was just about... I was, I, and, he, and he would pull a cord, and a, a cheap-ass Photoshop pendulum would cut the sandwich in half. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I cut my sandwiches. The ham has been murdered. <laughs> was that voice ever actually considered scary by society? Like, did it? Why that voice? It, like, it dates back to really asshole landlords from the 1800s. <laughs> That's why they're afraid they could cut off their gas oil at any moment. So that voice it's was just terrifying. People, people really used to believe in vampires. I think so. You didn't have to be like ripped in order to be scary. Like we, we transitioned uh, into a society where like we had enough security camera footage. Uh, to realize that the really scary thing is physical fitness and, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, so, so, being so, an sociopath was no uh, longer sociopathology, not people who are, mm, I'm a gentleman, I, I, I like the smell of your blood. It's like, like that guy you can take down with. <laughs> Aesthetic reasons are the reasons I persecute you. <laughs> There used to be a, a fear of people like Bella Lugosi. Like, like, like that guy's not scary, really, through a modern lens. Yeah, look at that weakling. Yeah. <laughs> not, He's out to get us. <laughs> not after you see enough like Chinese babies getting run over in parking lots, like, like on 4chan. I, hey, I didn't put them there. <laughs> if I can, Jesus, why do I always bear the brunt for these videos I mentioned? <laughs> go, go, go Wait, on. tell me more about the Chinese baby parking lot. I, I, I'm t- dude, if you, if, you, if you know what to look for, and I do... <laughs> No, there's horrible things that happen. Like, if, I, like, if, if I type those keywords in, I'm looking at a video of babies being run over in a parking lot. There, there, there. You can find. I mean, there are so many cameras now, and there have been that has been that way for so long, and the population is so high now, and there are so many countries where, like, and, and I'm not. I'm I, like, like, like China has different rules, by the way. I guess I'm. Ri- <laughs> oh, you, you're saying this this, this, <laughs> this surveillance footage of a baby accidentally being run over. There's not a parking lot full of babies that people. <laughs> As a blood sport, like like. Well, that might be a thing. I don't know. I don't know. The one child policy wasn't working. <laughs> There's just horrible shit you can I'm see, so, just, like they, in countries they, that are overpopulated and that don't have good Samaritan laws. You know that, that where there's like there's just like oh this guy was eating someone on a subway. Look at look at this. Like I, it's just. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Eating on a subway? <laughs> Where? What, what would Vincent Price have to say about a Chinese baby getting run over? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Nothing appropriate? My one son. <laughs> My one precious son. <laughs> Come unto the carbuncle. <laughs> <laughs> Come under the carbuncle. That was a big uh, post story, I think, wasn't that? <laughs> Come under the carbuncle, wasn't that Edgar Allan Poe, I think? All right, let's make it easier. Wait, keep the music going, Jeff. 
Hey, Vincent Price, maybe we should go. Uh, Vincent Price, I know you're my roommate. Uh, uh, like, uh, we're, I was we're... hoping that we could pay the bill to the <laughs> Department of Water and Power. <laughs> but I, well, I, 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 my car doesn't work. Could we go to the grocery store together? And... <laughs> well, I, I just... We need to get some uh, Sudafed and some uh, maple syrup. Do you mean some pseudoephedrine for your ills? Oh, my God. I have quite the elixir roommate of all mine. Oh, my God. Um, it's making me drowsy. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I hope that's the first episode of a, lo- a long series of uh, Vincent Price as my roommates. I love that. <laughs> uh, can, 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 can you do Can you do Marin on uh, on cue or is that? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Let, sure. let me do an interview Captain. with Mark Marin real quick. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I decided. Oh, come on, what really? <laughs> I, 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 thanks for having me on your show, Mark Marin. Oh, yo, yeah, it's my show because I mean, I was I was being interviewed. Yeah, fine. Uh, so the, you did the show. What was that like? Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, yeah, you got to say Marin in space is fucking amazing. Thank like, you. It's, it's 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 really 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 funny. Like I I, I, I like laugh. It's, they're they're web shorts. So like you spend the whole time laughing. It's just because you. I, and I was talking to you about this. And this is this will sound pretentious to non LA people who don't like make stuff for living and all this stuff. It's like we're up here jerking each other off, but let's jerk each other off for a second. Like, I... All right. I your, your, <laughs> your... Your impressions, I think that... Like, because like, sometimes people feel about impressions the way they feel about magic. It's like, well, what are you really... What are you doing? You're just... You're sounding like somebody, but I think there's a... You, you do them in a, in a strange, tender way. Like, you write up to your... When you're, when you're doing Mark Massage Maron... Massage the muscles of the <laughs> person you're impersonating. Like, you're not, you're not sitting there watching Mark Maron and going, ah, oh, fuck him. Here's how he talks. Talks. Me, 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 me. Like, like you're, like you create a character for him. That I was feel Rich like. Little's process. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sometimes when I'm listening to an impression being done, I feel like, okay, congratulations, you figured out that you know Nick Nolte has an overbite. Like, 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 but that's like, like but you, I feel like your your characters are a little more loving. Yeah, well, I like uh, sometimes I hate them. Like George W. Bush, I was trying to ruin him, but uh, <laughs> yeah, usually it's like something I'm fascinated by for uh, good reasons, and then it's just fun to sort of imagine playing being that person. And when, like, when you're when you're when in your head, you're like you, you got a little simulator running, like you are the person, right? A little little bit because you have to know what they might say yeah yeah that's what helps with somebody like jesse ventura because he can he lives in so many worlds is that he, he, he no matter what happens there's either a conspiracy or an old match that scarred him yeah. <laughs> so if i were to if jesse ventura were my roommate and i needed him to uh, this is a real crowded apartment <laughs> I know, but you, 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 you. We toured it together when we decided to sign the lease, and I, I, you haven't paid the, your part of the electric bill yet. You mean to the Department of Water and Power? I want to know how high it goes. <laughs> It just goes to the office. You just write you, your half is 1750, my half is 1750, and then we don't. Why are there only two parties? <laughs> <laughs> this is two halves of the check, man. It's like, like, I, did you go to work this week? Or yep, I was. I was commenting on some underground DVD titles. <laughs> <laughs> You, you seem defensive when you say that. How much does that pull down a I, year? I work. I was surfing. You don't need to know my business. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jesse Ventura. He's, a, he's an impressionist. I don't, I don't get to like a lot of impressionists. It's fun. For yeah, me. no, it is. Uh, yeah, it's, there's a rarefied number that it's are. It's refreshing. Like, cool. You know what? I'm putting out the magician challenge. If you're a magician and, and you think that Jeff and I can like you, come, come to Harmontown. <laughs> Do a little magic. Yeah. It'll be great for the listening. Well, see, like, for me, like when you think of impressionists, like I have friends, that, I have a couple of friends that can do impressions of almost anybody, and it's great. But the reason why it's fun is because they're funny. The things they say are actually like you're you're being funny while saying them. Rich Little, for my money, isn't a very funny guy. <laughs> Ooh. He's, He's the taking w- on Wolf Blitzer and Rich Little. Rich Little. Yes. Jeff Davis bashes Rich Little. <laughs> yes. Take that. Well, who's next on I the hate list? Yeah, yeah. I believe I know someone who would disagree with you on that. 
<laughs> but like but Frank Gorshin, remember him? Like he, like he was actually funny. Like when he did Burt Lancaster, it was a fucking riot because he said funny things. Like so, like, like, that's that's the difference. Like I, I wish I could, I can't do an, I can do like two impressions and they're shitty. Like what, I, what would piss me off is I would go on the road as a comic with these guys who would do impressions of people who were already funny. They were comedians like Rodney Dangerfield, yeah. and then they would just do Rodney bits. But, but we're under the guys I, I who would impression them. Like I do that sometimes. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I make, no, I make up a new one. Though. How, no, you make up a new one. These guys were doing actual how, how, Rodney how, bits. James, how much respect do you think that you get? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I get a little bit of respect. I have to admit, I, <laughs> that, that's the worst Rodney Dangerfield I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> you said James. Uh, 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 well, is, do you have to do it like Lipton? Is Rodney there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm always waiting for the James Lipton moment. <laughs> It's Rodney inside you right now. <laughs> I can I can do um, I can do uh, Liam, uh, some impressions. You can do a Liam. <laughs> you, you thought you had Liam Neeson, and we found out that you lost it. I thought I, I, thought I had him can for guess, a while. Can we try some Liam? <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> well, ask me ask me a question about wolves. <laughs> the wolves are they nearby? It doesn't matter if they're nearby. <laughs> They'll bite you. All right. I can't. All right. All right. Did Liam Neeson? You know what? I walked into that. (laughs) It's intimidating looking at him and doing it. Was Liam Neeson eating a sandwich during that one? There is no sandwich. There's just wolf bites. (laughs) All right. right, All right. right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I I pimped you for that. Who can can you most confidently do? Who's your best impression? No, I can't. I, 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 I I I don't think I have someone that I'm like, oh, slam dunk. You don't? Yeah. You, you used to do a pretty good Rosie Perez. <laughs> Maybe Mr. T. I think I, uh, I think I could pity the fool and put something on my head. But that's more of a prop work kind of thing. Right. <laughs> you want, can you, we want to do a Jesse Ventura? Uh, Just turn your voice over like you've been shouting all day. Uh, all right. Um. <laughs> Uh, you listen to me, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. That's pretty good. Uh, it's like a different wrestler. Yeah, right. Now, Dan, do do the, the, the gray, but instead of Liam Neeson, put Jesse Ventura in there as the star of the gray. It doesn't matter what, how far along we are. If they have copes, we're already dead. I sound like Nick Nolte. <laughs> Reg. This is Garrett Busey. Well, that's good. This is also Gary Busey. Oh. Uh, this is either Popeye or Marlon Brando. <laughs> or neither. <laughs> don't don't, don't, don't take that off the table. <laughs> Could be neither. Could be neither. <laughs> don't remove that option. We're going to use it. Or Johnny Carson. Might have snuck uh, in there a little uh, bit. No. Uh. Do Johnny Carson doing a scene from Streetcar Named Desire. Oh, have you heard about the Napoleonic Clause? <laughs> no. That's, Johnny Carson we, was a nerd back in the old days. We, we would play a game, you'd get high, and then you would do what we called Plausible Carson episode. And uh, what it was was you had to introduce three people for a Carson, but it had to be people who would conceivably be on the same show during the actual run of The Tonight Show. So you'd be like, we have a, we have a great show tonight. We have Martin Mole from the hit movie Mr. Mom is here. Uh, beautiful young singer Dion Warwick is here tonight. And uh, from, from Lenny and Squeaky, Michael McKean. Like, it would have to be people <laughs> that actually could have shared a Carson bill. And it gets it. And the game is over when the third name is said. Yeah, when you just can't, when no one can make, can do it anymore. Like, and when you're not high enough to still think it's funny. I think those are like, those are, that's like when the game runs out. I would play that by mail with you. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone play things by mail anymore? I they do. Don't really I do. play, play by mail games. Game I, I, I play a game by mail with Matt Gorley from Super Ego. Uh, Super Ego, one of my favorite podcasts. Uh, my friend Matt, who I've been best friends with from like uh, seventh grade on. Uh, we play a game called Death that we started doing in... Um, I think we're all playing that one. <laughs> Especially the people that are mailing things to each other. <laughs> They're the ones that are winning. <laughs> I have a real kicker of a chess move. <laughs> <laughs> Make the stamp, we'll go down to the post office, we to Brook 4 in the envelope, so excited. Two months later, he'll see if it worked. <laughs> we started in school, like, one of us would just draw, like, a, like a guy, like, like, in the middle of a piece of paper, we just draw a neutral guy standing there, and then you would draw him dying somehow. And then you would give it to the other person, we'd slip it, like, you know, like, like a note in class, 
and originally it was just like back and forth in school. And by the end, this page, and we have these from school, but there's just 30 million, like really, they get more and more obscure. You can't repeat it. So then they would get really weird. So now if Matt mails me one, there'll be a guy and there'll just be a fruit cart way in the background. <laughs> that, 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 that has a sign that says oranges, which is a Godfather reference. <laughs> Because wow. every time you see an orange in The Godfather, somebody dies. Oh, so the fruit cart doesn't so, have to kill him. Yeah, it's just, it's, he's like, clearly, some, he's going to get whacked because right. there's oranges in the background. Right. It's not a fruit cart accident, right. per se. But when's the last time you did that? You're not doing that actively. <laughs> it is active. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Whose move is it right now? It's Matt's. And he's take, it's on his refrigerator, and he's fucking taking a long, sweet time about yeah. it. What a fucker. I know. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, John Roy and James Adomian, uh, uh, anything, uh, you should listen to uh, Don't Ever Change, and... Uh, James, do you have anything going on? We can. Uh... Nope, nope. I'm just sort of winding down my whole career. <laughs> <laughs> more podcasts. Just hear me on more podcasts. Oh, uh, and Marin in Space is on ifc.com. If yes. You want to see yeah, it. yeah. Space. Go check it out. It really is funny. I can't recommend right, it enough. All right, James and John, thanks for coming by.